Hey guys, all right, uh, John Wise here with Comageddon. Um, I did a review for my Facebook page, and um, I thought I would go ahead and do one for Comageddon here. Um, now, I was supposed to review some um, some uh, snow-themed uh, G.I. Joe figures. I can't find them. Um, I had them set out, ready to grab. I think my cat might have grabbed them. So, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and instead do a review, it's more holiday-themed anyway, of the LEGO... 2016 Lego Advent Calendar, and I just completed it today because it is Christmas Eve as I'm filming this. And yeah, um, this is my first Advent Calendar. I think it's really cool. Um, here we have three different themed on the display. Uh, we have Tatooine, we have uh, Naboo, and when we have Hoth. So I'm not going to take a whole, spend a whole lot of time on this because, um, like I said, it is New Year's Eve. Um, I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. <laughs> so here we go. Um, so the Lego, the Lego Advent calendars, they have um, days where you rip to open these little things here, and inside there's a Lego set, Lego uh, ship or a little mini playset or a mini fig that you put together for that day. So uh, and then you can display them however you want and use this as a little play this here this little play set here, this little uh, uh, play mat does come it is part of the box you just kind of take it and you it's, it's it's got a little tape here and tape here you take those and it just folds down and um, because this whole area becomes like a little play area for your Legos so um, each Lego advent calendar every year comes with an exclusive holiday themed Lego figure this year it's Chewbacca. Um, I think this one's pretty cool. I think a few years ago they did Yoda. Last year I think they did Darth Vader. I really miss. I really hate for the fact that I miss those, especially the Yoda. The Yoda Christmas. The Santa Yoda looked really cool. So, um, but real quick, I'll just go ahead and go over these. Um, so on Hoth here, uh, we have a snow trooper, the holiday Chewbacca. The rebels got bored and decided to make a snow snowman snow trooper, which does fire a uh, snowball. It's a cannon cannon. You push a little button and it fires a white Lego piece. Uh, Chewbacca's bowcaster also fires little um, snowballs there. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, we have a rebel laser cannon, a rebel trooper. A rebel guard to fire it, and of course here we have the little rebel hidden base on Hoth, and we have a T-16 Skyhopper sled to, you know, and inside it's got little skis that, you know, I guess the rebels plan on giving away to little rebel kids. So, and then over here we have Naboo, uh, we have, I forget the name of the C-3PO looking silver droid, protocol droid, but that's when I greeted Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi episode one this is what i thought this is one of the first ones i got first many i thought at first it was a bespin guard but i guess uh not thinking very well um it ends up it's a nabu palace guard uh i don't know a lot of the names of the ships from the prequels i know this is some type of a jedi fighter um i know this is a i believe the jedi interceptor which later on becomes the death the Star Destroyers, and I don't know what the hell this thing is. Um, so, but we have the droid gunship, and of course we have a cool little <laughs> Lego battle droid. <laughs> roger, roger. Um, so, then over here um, is, they have, is probably one of some of the coolest vehicles and minifigs, but it's also an area I have the most issues with. And I'll go over those in just a minute. So, over here we have a little mini uh, job of the hut mini playset job of the hut palace playset uh we have a gunk droid we have a return of the jedi luke a stormtrooper and a death star guard very out of place for this set uh some type of a speeder bike uh with the dainty four which is really cool i love having that uh we've got a tie interceptor which i want to note that this stand is not part of the actual build. Um, it wouldn't stand any other way. So I had to create a little uh, stand out of the spare parts this thing came with. 
So we have an Imperial Star Cruiser. And my favorite, it's got to be my favorite mini vehicle out of this whole set. And that is the Slave One. So that's pretty damn cool. So, um, alright. Now my issues. My issues isn't with Hoth. I think this is a really cool old set, mini set for Hoth. I'm not a prequel guy, but even these fit really well in <coughs> with the prequels. It's Tatooine. The Tatooine. Now, as you can tell, this is uh, you can tell this is supposed to be meant to be a Return of the Jedi holiday themed deal. Hence, we have a mini Java playset. We've got uh, the Slave One. The playmat has the um, Sarlacc pit. Um, my issues are I am not even upset about the Gonk droid. I like the Gonk droid um, as much as I love to have the Dan mini D Dan T4. This should not be part of the playset. Uh, the advent calendar. The Stormtrooper, uh, the Death Star Guard should be part of this set. The little speeder bike, TIE Interceptor, even this should not be part of it. I think it was wasted actually. Um, I would have preferred to have like maybe, uh, replace these two minifigs with say like a, a Weak Way or a Bubba Fett or uh, a, a little mini j version of the Job of the Hut fi figure. <coughs> um, Slave girl, something other than what we had here. Just a, something that fit with the Return of the Jedi theme. <coughs> um, a little mini scarf that Luke was uh, gonna jump from, or maybe even a little mini um, uh, Job of the Hutt's uh, traveling uh, battle palace there would have been cool. Um, maybe a little mini R2. Um, let's see, uh, because, I mean, look at the cool things here, I mean, everything matches here, except for here. And don't get me wrong, I, I, this really looks cool, I love this, I love the fact that we got the Dan D4, uh, the high Interceptor's cool, I like having the Stormtrooper, actually the Stormtrooper, uh, I got him on the 21st, it was my birthday, mini thing, which was cool. It's just that those don't fit in this overall theme here. So that's my only minor, that's my only gripe with this set. Because um, like I said, it, it, everything else fits. This was all prequel related. This is all um, Naboo related. This is all Hoth related. Um, so, and this, I just would have liked to have seen the kind of put the theme here a little bit. So. Uh, overall, though, I'm pretty pleased with this set. I mean, I love I love Legos. I love Star Wars. Uh, if those are wondering, um, the uh, Lego sets here, if you want to learn how to put them together, you open up the number. There's a little mini instructions on how to, how to put these together. So, didn't figure that one out until later either. Um, so yeah, not bad. Love the set. It's really cool. Um, I would, I'm definitely th planning on um, getting these again. Uh, my girlfriend, I want to thank her. She's the one that bought this for me. Uh, she gets the Lego Advent holiday calendars all the time with the regular minifigs and stuff like that, little Christmas trees. Of course, I'm a Star Wars guy, so I wanted the Star Wars themed Advent calendar. And I thought ha having a little Lego Chewbacca was really cool. Um, I do wish I would have gotten these a few years earlier because like I said they had a um, Santa Yoda, they had a uh, Santa Vader. Um, I'm not sure if there were, as far as I know this is the third one. I don't recall them going, having any more before this. Uh, if they did, you know, I, I probably missed out on those. There might have been a Santa Luke or something, I don't know. Um, so 2017, I definitely plan on getting another one towards the end of the year when they come out. Uh, these, with it being Christmas Eve, um, good chance these are sold out. If they're not, uh, they'll be discounted uh, at places like Walmart and uh, Target. I'm sh I don't think Toys R Us really discounts these. These run, depending on where you get them, about 40 to 50 bucks. So 50 probably Toys R Us, 40 probably at Walmart. Uh, if you can still pick them up after the holidays, I highly suggest it. It's a nice way to get a bunch of like little mini figs. The best way to get little mini display 
pieces for vehicles. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, may the force be merry and with you. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.